this is another elevator at the Edward St. John Learning and Teaching Center at the University of Maryland. Unlike the other two, this one is not a Gen 2. It looks very similar. It's got the same Brayo, same powder coat. But clearly these are not Otis's typical doors. And it's not a Gen 2, it's a Hydro. Ah, two was locked last, two was unlocked last time I was here. But now it's locked again, so I'll just go to one. Let me try something here. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, the two is usually locked. Last time I was here it was unlocked, but it looks like it's not unlocked right now. Similar to the main elevator, it's got red walls. Oh, this one has no rear door. Very bright elevator. 4,000 pound capacity. That's your written certificate. AA compliant phone, which the box is, or the cabinet has been taken off of. The door to the cabinet. This is in the older part of the ESJ building, the original part, but everything's been renovated and the elevator is new. This is not a hydro fit. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not a hydro fit. However, it was, it was actually installed by Otis, but it's not an Otis product. And unlike the other, the main one, this one has powder coated inner doors as well. So I'll go down to G and end it. It's got two certificates in this one. Very smooth. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't install a Gen 2 for this one. But it does say on the Maryland elevator records that Otis did install this. So it's some sort of generic. Product. Yeah. There it goes. It actually says elevator number four, even though there's only three elevators in here. But that'll be it.